in addition to his obvious lifelong psychological problems, which various medical professionals have pegged as malignant narcissism sociopathy are both, it's clear that Donald Trump has also spent the past several months sinking into worsening senility. Those signs have been increasing in frequency and severity. Today we're seeing yet another blatant sign that the man's mental faculties are fading fast. Among the many assertions that Trump's own people made in Michael Wolff's new book, one of the most alarming is that Hobbes began telling the same stories over and over again to the same people, using the same words, just a few minutes apart. As if on cue, Trump just very publicly proved this assertion to be correct. This morning Trump posted a tweet which contained the words the Democrats are all talk and no action and ended with the words too bad. Just 66 minutes later Trump posted another tweet which also asserted that the Democrats are all talk and no action and also ended with the words too bad. If this were a one-off, it could be overlooked. But Trump's Twitter timeline reveals that he does this frequently. HE's reusing the exact same sets of words right after HES already used them, seemingly without realizing or remembering that he just finished using them. This is listed as a warning sign for both Alzheimer's link and dementia link. Trump is also struggling to complete a coherent sentence during his speeches with increasing frequency. He gets confused and blankly wanders off in the middle of his own joint press conferences and signing ceremonies, only to be gently led back by his handlers. HE's wandered away from his own motorcade. He sometimes slurs his words. At times, the right side of his face doesn't appear to work properly. Trump is in desperate need of a medical examination so he can be properly diagnosed with whatever is causing his worsening senility. Of course he just had a physical performed by a military doctor yesterday, who'd then released a letter asserting that Trump was in excellent health while also spelling his own name incorrectly. So it's a safe bet that Trump's White House faked the doctor's letter. In other words, this WASNT a legitimate exam. Trump's people know there's something wrong with him, and they know it's getting worse, and they're going to desperate, if increasingly sloppy lengths, to try to hide it. Keep up to date with the latest Palmer Report articles via email. Get the latest content first. Email address update preference as new articles are added daily subscribe now we respect your privacy.